it's a whole new world that you want to be part of out there in the circle of life just around the river bend where you can go from zero to hero. With the live action remake of Aladdin hitting theaters this week, it seemed fitting to look back at a special period during Disney animation's history. Hi there, I'm your host, Brian Rollins, and this is the Dorky, Geeky, Nerdy Trivia Podcast. Our topic in this episode is the Disney Renaissance, specifically the 10-year period from 1989 to 1999. The movies from this period marked a return to the quality of films that Walt Disney himself personally worked on and turned the company's reputation around. For those of you who are new to the podcast, welcome! Every episode, we have three rounds of ten questions. Each round is a little harder than the one before. If you need rules to help you keep score of your game, either by yourself or with a group, head on over to dorkygeekynerdy.com slash rules. Okay, rub that lamp and make your first wish. The Dorky Round Number 1. What film in 1989 kicked off the Disney Renaissance? The Little Mermaid Number 2. What animated film became the first to receive an Oscar nomination for Best Picture? Beauty and the Beast. Number 3. What film marked the end of the Disney Renaissance? Tarzan. Number 4. Which movie took place in 1482 Paris? The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Number 5. Which movie's first trailer was simply the opening four minutes of the finished film? The Lion King. Number 6. In what movie did we follow the title character from Zero to Hero? Hercules. Number 7. What movie won a Best Song Oscar for Colors of the Wind? Pocahontas. Number 8. What movie was the first theatrically released sequel by Disney? The Rescuers Down Under. Number 9. What movie featured a street rat, a princess, and a kleptomaniac monkey? Aladdin. Number 10. What movie had a hun named Shan Yu? and a dragon named Mushu. Mulan. The Geeky Round. Number 1. What actor provided the voice for Scar in The Lion King? Jeremy Irons. Number 2. Ava Gabor's final film, Appearance, was in what film? (laughs) 
the rescuers down under. Number 3. Who voiced Iago in Aladdin? Gilbert Gottfried. Number 4. What character gave us impressions of Arsenio Hall, Ed Sullivan, and Arnold Schwarzenegger, among others? The Genie from Aladdin. Number 5. Who wrote the original Tarzan? Edgar Rice Burroughs. Number 6. Simba means what in Swahili? Lion. Yeah, that wasn't particularly creative. Number 7. What Star Trek alum lent their voice to the movie Mulan? George Takei. Number 8. What two gargoyles are named for the author of Le Cathédrale de Notre-Dame? Victor and Hugo. Number 9. Before becoming an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., Ming-Na Wen voiced what heroine? Mulan. Number 10. What are the names of Ursula's hench eels? Flotsam and Jetsam. Okay, let's take a quick break for the book of the week. Our recommendation for this episode is the Walt Disney Animation Archives. This is actually a series of books covering topics like animation, design, story, layout, and background. Each book contains lessons from Disney animators, sketches, behind-the-scenes insights, and finished artwork. If you're a big animation fan, you want the whole set for your home library. Links to all the books in the series can be found at dorkygeekynerdy.com slash book. And now, back to the show. The Nerdy Round Number 1. In what ship did John Smith and company set sail to the New World? The Susan Constant Number 2. What voice actor gave us Abu, Raja, and the Cave of Wonders? Frank Welker. Number three. What Little Mermaid character made a cameo in Aladdin? Sebastian. Number four. The Cathedral of Notre Dame is located on an island in the middle of what river? The Seine. Number 5. Which titan does Hades send to kill Hercules? (laughs) 
the Cyclops. Number 6. In addition to voicing Clayton, who provided the sound of Tarzan's iconic yell? Brian Blessed. Number 7. When it was re released in 2002, what song was added to Beauty and the Beast? Human again. Number 8. Name Scar's three hyena henchmen. Shenzi, Bonsai, and Ed. Number 9. What was the name of the golden eagle that had to be rescued by Bernard and Bianca? Marahute. Number 10. What veteran comedian gave voice to Scuttle in The Little Mermaid? That would be Buddy Hackett. And they all lived happily ever after. The end. That's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe played it with the little geeks in your life. Next week we're going big. Here's your clue. What anti-hero is known as the King of Monsters? If you want to catch up with us on social media, you can find links at dorkygeekynerdy.com. There's an archive of past episodes if you want to catch up, and a contact form if you want to send any suggestions for the show. I'm your host, Brian Rollins. Keep dreaming of a whole new world, and thanks for listening.